Hi, I'm Anthony Bryan, Product Evangelist with Jscape. In this video, we're going to talk about the command line utilities that come with Jscape MFT Server, as opposed to the Graphical Server Manager. Command line utilities are ideal for scripting, or if you have something you want to change and you don't want to fire up the Server Manager. Here we've opened a command prompt, cmd.exe. These batch files are pretty self-explanatory. You can use them to stop, start, or restart the service. The first command line utility we're going to look at is js-stop domain. And if you type that plus dash h, you get the options. All right, let's try it plain. There's a little interactivity. It asks you for the domain. Put it in, hit enter, and it stops. Now let's try js-start domain. Same thing. All right, let's try it with the command line switches that the help gave us. Let's stop the domain with dash D and the domain name. There, no interactivity. And let's restart with the same switches. All right, now let's try to add a service. JS dash add service web dev. Dash H for the help. And let's try it with some interactivity. Put in the domain. Enable HTTP, yes, no, hit enter. And the web dev service has been added. Let's say we want to troubleshoot and look at the IP access list. JS-IP access will do this for us. So let's try it with dash D domain name and dash L to list. Okay, let's check out how many users this server has. JS-users. There's the help. And use the dash D domain name and L to list. Pretty bare, huh? I think it's time to add some users. JS dash add user will let us do this. Here's the help. And let's try it without the help. Interactive. Put in the domain, the login, directory path, and the user has been created. Now let's list the users. Ah, now we've got two. All right, we created a user test, but we forgot to give him a password. So let's do that, js-passwd. So let's try it with some command line switches, dash d domain, dash u username, and dash p for password. All right, there he's got a password now. All right, let's say we have a user connected to the server and we want to kick him off. Use js-kick user for this. And we're going to use the command line switch dash d domain dash u and then the username. All right, we've kicked him off now. That was the test user's last chance and he blew it. So we're going to delete him. js-del user. There's the options. And we're going to use dash d domain dash u, and then the username. And there, he's deleted. We'll list the users again, and as you can see, he's gone. Now, what if you want to run a trigger that you've already set up earlier? js-run trigger is your man. So let's use it with dash d, domain, dash n, and the trigger name, which is named server backup appropriately. And there you have it, it runs. Perfect. There's a number of other command line utilities that let you do things like add a domain or add a directory monitor and other things. In this video, we talked about a number of the command line utilities, including how to use them interactively or use them with switches for scripting. For more information on Jscape MFT server, please visit jscape.com.